G'day everybody, welcome back to this Zombie Bites Everything. We just had a uh, internet glitch, it dropped out for some stupid reason. And we are back. I'm gonna jump back in, finish. That's why I didn't have any um, logs in the thingy when I jumped up there. I was like, what's going on with my logs? So let's check it out. Hey, Seven, how you going, mate? Hope you're doing well. How's the family going? Hope you're all doing good. Yeah, I remember that sort of shit as well. Resident Evil was my worst. So because it bugged out, it's not showing me that there's a whole heap of logs here. <laughs> but you can see there's 11 of 12. Um, kind of a pain in the ass. I had this glitch. Yeah. Um, I used to dinner with the parents. All right, man. Awesome. Yeah, my grandkids were supposed to come over for Easter, but uh, they didn't. I'm not really too happy about that. Didn't get to see him today. So uh, not sure what's going on there. Now this is glitched out. God damn it. I fucking hate when that happens. You're going to go outwards? Nope, still going inwards. All right. I don't want the doors to open inwards. I want them to open outwards. And I think it's the other thing I need to make sure is on the inside, the little cross beams. I right, hope you enjoy the drawing. No, it's awesome, man. Did you see the image I, I sent back? Got me mate to crop it out and that for me. Um, PNG'd it. I 
I like that. I got, from what I can gather, was very close to the very end of uh, Resident Evil, the first one. We had a power surge go through during the middle of a storm and the PlayStation turned off. And I was like, oh, man, oh, well, that's okay. I saved. It turned out, when I turned it on, it said that the file was corrupted, that my save file was corrupted and it wouldn't load up. I almost cried, Seven. I was a grown ass man who almost shed a tear over a video game. That's not fucking right, man. So I think they need to be on the inside, which means now I have to get a whole fucking 12 again. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. You've got to be on the outside to make the doors go. When you do the doors and turn, turn the walls in the doors, you've got to be on the outside if you want them to go inside. Yeah, that makes fucking sense. My son bought a PS2, and it came with a um, PS2 control um, memory card. And the memory card's been jailbroken to be an emulator, or something like that. He said, "I can't remember what it was." No worries, Reaper. Take it easy, man. I'll do the little things that I need to do to it to make it work as a logo. In black and white like that means that I can do some stuff. I didn't like the fact that when it changed the door to the wall, it made it so that it took away the logs. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Put all those logs on there. I sure, I had no way of doing it for, oh, I should have saved beforehand and then just... Yeah, done that. Never mind. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Because it means I chopped down two trees. Three trees. For fuck all. And then they're gone. And they're not coming back. Well, they will eventually when we do the regrow, but at the moment they're not. Jurassic Park. Dino Crisis 2. I really enjoyed Dino Crisis 2. It's not really Jurassic Park, I know, but, you know, it's still a good game. I thought so.
it better fucking open up the way I want it to open up or else I'm going to be pissed. If it doesn't open up the way I need it to open up, then I don't know how to get it to open up the way I want it to open up. I'm not a man who likes not knowing shit. I like knowing shit. I could have phrased that better. I like knowing how things work. And if I don't figure it out, then it's going to stump me and hash me out. You can't even tell where these are going to land either. Like, you can chop one of these trees down and have it go straight. And then you're like, cool, you won't change anything. You won't change your angle or anything. You'll go to the tree right next to it. And that tree will fall in a way that just makes you go, well, that's stupid. It's weird because some of these trees will go, you know what? You've chopped the back of me out. I'm going to fall left. It's like, why are you falling left? You should be falling forward. And the tree's like, nah, feeling whimsical. Oh, yeah, that's good. Open it outwards. Yes! I am a fucking genius! My brain is the best. Oh, don't all cheer at once, guys. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. <coughs> My castle is coming along nicely. That is good. I like that. Cheers, uh, criminal. That looks good, man. I'll let you get back to what you were doing, man. You did have to rush to do that now. I appreciate it, though. But, yeah, that was, that was awesome. Moon's all the way up there. Got it. That's a very odd-shaped moon there. Eh? Okay. That moon looked like it was a potato. It's potato. Okay, so we still need 74 logs. Thirty-four logs is just for the walls. It's got nothing to do with the roof or anything like that. And we still got the roof to go. Stop swinging like a fucking moron, you idiot! Every now and then. If you're, if you're a millimetre too close to the tree or a millimetre too far away from the tree, it'll go, oh, you're swinging like you want to attack, not like you want to chop a tree down. And it'll do this horrible swing that'll drain a lot of your stamina, and then you've got to try and regain it. I should point out, I'm also in hard mode, which means my stamina and my energy... My strength, my athleticism, they all play a part in hard mode. They don't really play too much of a role in the standard mode.
And why am I playing in this mode? Because I can. Just stop me if you don't want me to. You know what? Let's do these two. Then we can grab some big rocks while we're here, bring them back at the same time as bringing logs so we're not double handling or going out of our way. It's more efficient. There we go, 10 rocks. Just got to find where those other trees went down. Ah, there they are. Come on, logs. He's all on a roll. Why don't you roll now? You're rolling in the right direction. Nah, it's never your friend when it's part of the mechanics. You're damn right there. Now, I have got the console commands on, so I don't have any actual cannibals after me at this present time. But this means that I'm, I'm just chopping trees down and, and eating willy-nilly. I'm not actually doing anything to really make myself any better. Like, um, I'm not increasing it or anything like that at the moment because I'm just doing the same back and forth, back and forth. I'm eating whenever I get hungry and I'm not watching really what I eat, which means I'm not doing the best job for my character at the moment. Oh, here comes daylight. Oh, come on. Pick up the rocks, you idiot. Do I need this many logs? You know what? I could probably do all of this with a lot less logs. I don't need the interior wall the way I've got it. But you know what? I'm making rooms in there. I don't need them like that. Just doing it because I can. This will be where the king stays. Me.
I'm going to do the outside walls before I worry about the inside walls, though. Because the inside walls are walls I can do later on. They're not something I need to rush to do right now. I mean, I'll leave the blueprints there. Because if I take the blueprints away, it'll be harder to try and put them back in once there's walls finished. So best to just leave them there now. And of course, if I end up with a couple of loose logs lying around, I can just chuck them in those spots straight away. I'm not going to end up with loose logs because every single log will end up getting used. If I don't use it in the walls, I'll use it in making a fireplace. If I don't use them in a fireplace, a bench that holds drinks or a bench that holds explosives or something, I'll use the logs somewhere. But it is crucial I get the outside walls done first. Actually, what I can do now, now, is I can put the roof on. It increased our logs to 98, but at least it lets us know. That that's where we gotta that'll be a finished enough product product finished enough to um, project to where we'll be able to work on another part of it this is going to be like my little mini castle So where the king stays, you're not wrong. I don't like the wonky stairs. It's like a three-legged donkey. What do you call a three-legged donkey? Wonky. Because <laughs> he only got three legs, get it? My guy's hungry again. I didn't even put the rocks down. Duh, idiot zombie. You were supposed to put the rocks down when you did the logs, you moron. That's why your mother didn't like you. Why you're a disappointment to your father. Actually, that's not the reason why I'm a disappointment to my father. Here's the fun, here's the fun fact about me. I met my real biological father when I was 27 years old. He assumed, because of the lifestyle that I was raised in, that I was going to be in and out of jail. And to his surprise, I wasn't. That disappointed him because he told everybody that I was. He told everybody that I was an alcoholic, I was a drug addict, I'm in and out of jail and all that. This is confirmation bias, all right? This is, this is what confirmation bias actually looks like. He thought because of the lifestyle, he, he left my mum when my mum was young. He left before I was a year old. And... So he got a job and he started working, blah, 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 did all that sort of stuff, got himself a house and all that. My mum, no, no house, always renting, always in debt, uh, became an alcoholic, uh, a drug addict herself. Uh, she, she, her, her drug of choice was prescription medication from the doctors. She doctor shop. Um, so... All this, he assumed that because of statistically, I should have been in jail or arrested all the time or always in the shit. So when he met me, he had this great hope of being the person who was going to save me from the misery of my life. 
And it turned out that, no, I wasn't any of those things. I didn't... I didn't become an alcoholic. I didn't become a drug addict. Not spent one day in jail as a criminal. As a, con as a convict. You know? Um, his bias was so out of whack that what he believed to be, well, this is what's going to happen because that's what happens, turned out to be, on the contrary, <laughs> to, to what he believed. And that is confirmation bias, everybody. When you believe something about people, about a group of people or a class of people, and you believe, well, this is what happens with these types of people, those people, they, them, all that sort of stuff. When you believe that, the chances are, yeah, there will be a couple of people that fall in that category, but not everybody. G'day, years. Welcome back, mate. We had a little bit of technical difficulties beforehand. We had the stream cut out because the internet dropped out. There's no reason for it to drop out. Actually, there is. My modem's old. But my modem's old, and I can't use a new one because a new one just drops out all the time. And I've got to get a new one sent out. And I'm going to be telling the company that sends them out, make sure this one fucking works because I'm going to go to your company. If it doesn't, I'm going to jam it up your ass. And YouTube, if you have a problem with that, they can fucking sue me like a normal person. You, YouTube, shut the fuck up. Look, a lot of people that are in my position who grew up in the same sort of lifestyle I have, it hasn't done them very well. You know, they have ended up in trouble with the police or, you know, struggle, you know. But struggle is a prerequisite for greatness. Well, at least that's what they tell me. I don't believe it because <laughs> I don't exactly look at my life and go, it's full of greatness. But yeah. G'day, Twist. Welcome back, mate. Stream ended beforehand because the internet cut out on me. My new modem I've got, um, it works, but so what it will do is it works, but the problem is, is for example, I could, the modem sits in my room, in my game, in my games room. Uh, I've got the cable hooked up and all that sort of snazzy stuff. Now, if I want to use my iPad anywhere in the house, outside of my games room, it goes, no, nope, can't, can't, can't read the Wi-Fi. This means Topeka can't use the PlayStation and my son can't use his PlayStation and none of us can, none of us can do anything outside my games room. And I ain't having them all in my fucking games room. Because they're all noisy and I don't want them in my games room. 
my game's room. Mine. Cheers, ears. <coughs> oh, I gotta drop that meat off. Oh, you fucking asshole. You know what? You ain't getting away from me. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. That's disturbing. Uh, you guys can't see what I'm seeing on my Discord right now. That's fucking disturbing. By outside walls, I only mean... Okay, look at that. It's a little bit off. Jesus, zombie, can you line anything up? You that fucking slow. You can't line anything up. I'm not a smart man, but I know what the forest is. It's my last name. My name's Forest, Forest Good. Okay, that wall, that wall, that wall, that wall. Just got those two walls over there to do another 10 there. And then what do you want for the roof? I can't see. What is that for the roof? 36. So 46 left. And then we could test. Yeah. 
I don't need the interior walls, just the, the outer walls. They'll give me that good test that I need. It could kill me, the test, but that's okay. We'll save first, and then if it does, we can just load back in. No harm, no foul. Still collecting chicory. Ah, there we go. Cannot get no more. I have to have a coffee break in a minute. A sled might have made things a little bit easier. Fill up the sled, bring it down once with 12 logs and then take it back up, fill it up with another 12. But I didn't want another, I didn't want a sled lying around the place. Come on, jump, you idiot. This is only one layer of wall too, it's got to go up free. Four, eight, ten, two. It's got to go up a bit. Oh, we're running out of food. Not really. We got other food around. We just don't have the snacks. No, they're not needed. Yes, I like them. I like to be full on the snacks. I normally don't touch them. Sit here for a second. I'm gonna go up there to get those logs. Oh, Seventy-seven logs to get. Jeez, it never ends. Man. I've heard a dragon ball, but never dragon tail.
I feel like these only just started rolling. Get off. I'll well grab these last stones here. Like a carrot cake. It is now. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that moon. I said every person who's seen my mother-in-law bend over. Actually, everybody that sees my mother-in-law bend over always asks that other question. How can there be a fucking full moon and a black hole all in one? G'day, Dr. Subtone. How you going, man? I was watching you race around before, Ian. Science. See you fight in the other day. <laughs> Referring to the black hole situation. Well, with the mother in law, you don't want to find it. You smell it before you see it, I'm sure. <laughs> That's not nice. I'm not a very nice son in law to say shit like that. So, can other people say it for me, please? Because then I don't get in trouble. You know, you had one job, you stupid ass, stupid fucking stupid thing.
There we go. That's the next line. 193 logs again. Rocks again. can tell by the beck. Yeah. It's the only thing that keeps her away. Keeps her mother-in-law away, this does. You know, I just remembered something. That's all something that needs to be done manually. Because I need to... No, fucking thank you. Because I need to um, make some windows. And I can't fucking do that. Oh, yeah, I'll keep that bit there. And I should have kept that one there as well. Let's put that back. You get so many of these rocks out here, so it's just easier to build with these rocks sometimes. Less energy you need. Okay, so these bits are going to be the same no matter what. They are going to be the same height and they're going to be the same width no matter what. I'm trying to make like a castle, so I'm going to make like a castle wall where you have little bits in between that you can actually see through. All right, we shored up those sides there. What's it look like when we shut it? Good. Looks good. I don't like that fucking point right there. Oh, that's really irritating me. One, two, three, four. Ah, fine, fuck it. It's fine.
Okay, so that one needs one more log to complete that side wall. And that side wall is complete. The rest of the logs are for the roof and the other wall's interior. Don't mind me, just talking to myself. I find I'm the only one that really answers myself and listens. So, it's always, see people say it's, you're crazy when you talk to yourself. No, no, no. You're crazy when you answer yourself and have a full conversation and answer back. Talking to yourself out loud, no, that's not crazy. We all do it. You ever walk around the shed and go, drill bit? drill bit where's the drill bit <laughs> you know i do that all the time maybe not necessarily drill bit but it's always a tool i'll be looking for i'll be like where the fuck is that <coughs> all right all side walls are done this wall just needs to be done up a little bit higher. I could really do of a... Um, well, I could just about put everything in there now. See these walls here? That'll be done with food in there and then we know. You are cold and wet. Yep. Well, so far it's looking good. How it will look when it's 100% completely finished, I got no idea. I'm sure we'll find out. Figure the rocks will draw them in. Yeah, it does. They'll come in thinking it's an easy, like. Some of them can jump it. Some of them cannot. So it just depends. If I make it too high, like two layers high, they might still be able to jump it. If I make it three layers high, then they shouldn't be able to jump over it. And I can have the middle layer with gaps missing like a castle. So then I can... Do what I need to do. On the very top, I'll do those little square bits, you know, the sections that are cut out to make it look like a, a castle roof. And I'll be able to do my staircase on the outside so I can go upstairs, have more storage upstairs. I've got to go hunting for some animals. In fact, I probably should do that now. I don't need them for the food side of it. I need them for the skins. But what I really want to do is I really, really want to just get those 71 logs My character hasn't slept in, I don't know, uh, 
hasn't slept any time I've been streaming, that's for sure. take out these trees as I go past them because um, if they're gone I can see on the ground a lot better to see where everything is sometimes they block your view and make it so you can't see like if I log out log back in you'll see a big difference That's probably the most effort I've put into making a design before building, coming up with a plan. Normally I don't put that much effort in. Not that much. I've almost cleared out all the trees in this section. This had a heap of trees. It was like a hundred, a hundred and twenty something trees, uh, logs, and then ninety something logs, and now whatever the fuck this is, five logs for each wall, twelve logs for the gate. And I didn't have to double it up. I doubled it up just so I could have <laughs> shorter meat racks. So that I was just down a little bit shorter. Because uh, I'm funny that way. Didn't need them done that way, but figured, hey, let's do it this way. I could run through and chop all these. Oh, look at that. There's more logs over here I didn't see. These, I bet, were the ones I was trying to find beforehand. And I couldn't find them. Seems like it, because I thought I had an odd number. happens to be three of them over there so you get between four and five logs i haven't seen six i haven't seen three i have seen four most of the time so you chop down one tree and you're pretty much guaranteed to get four logs what does this mean oh this means if you need 48 trees you need to cut down 12 uh if you need 48 logs you need to cut down 12 trees Simple math. You need 40 logs, 10 trees. If it's a tree that gives you five logs, well, you might have five left. You might have one left over or something. Let's grab that. It's mud up. I feel like I'm playing Predator again. Mud up. If I can get the roof done, then I can stop things dropping in the roof. 
And it gives me something to walk on. I've got one log over here, so if I chop down these trees over here and lay them down, fall on this way, I can use it to grab that log at the same time. You're a fucking genius, zombie. Now, I didn't come up with the idea of putting the second foundation down and making it so that I could have the um, food racks come through the floor like that. I seen that on a different stream. Someone else was doing it. And I thought, I wonder how easy that is. And I wonder if it's useful. Kind of is, kind of isn't. It's one of those things that's very tricky to get it lined up to where it looks neat. Wow, that tree fell quick. If they're in a big pile like that, it really does make it easier for me to see them. The easier I can see them, the better it is. Easter Monday. The um, the wall with the door right there where the wonky staircase is. I don't know why it's fucking wonky like that. That is going to be done last. Um, I don't want to be trying to go in and out of a small doorway with logs. So we'll get all the logs done first. Just need five for that little bit. Aspen's plan, or doing a premiere, I should say, of um, Dead Island Definitive Edition. I gotta admit, I'm a big fan of Dead Island. I like it. Yes, now you all start rolling. I'll keep rolling like that. Get down here and I'll be able to find them easier. I don't have to run as far. I want to get the roof done. This is walls. And yes, I'll have to do a staircase as well. Get up on the roof, but that is not essential.
Can't believe it's been over an hour since I fucking had a blue screen on me. I don't even know what my other stream was going. It was like four hours, I think. Uh, today and yesterday, the internet's gone out five times. Five times, six times, something like that. 18 logs of 36. So what's that? 28 logs left? No. Yes? Oh, my math is not doing too good right now. Twenty logs left. Jesus Christ, I mean you're an idiot. You got eighteen, you need thirty eight. There's twenty logs. Jesus Christ. Simple math. How'd you fucking get eighteen? Because it's twenty six, that's why. Sixteen logs. Oh, you were right the first time, it's eighteen logs. Never second, never second judge yourself there, zombie. And stop talking about yourself in a third person. You're sounding creepy. I hate that. That small little light glitch. You go into the into your tarp to be able to look at your inventory, and then when you come out, it's dark. And um, fine if it's night time, it just comes out and looks normal. But if it, it comes out, when you come out, it always looks like it's night time. Custom stairs. Let's get outside here for a second, because you're going to be a prick. Let's see what that looks like. No pole inside. Just fucking fine and dandy. I just put me at 73 logs. Uh, okay. Sometimes you have to wait for certain things to be half built. So then you can add other things. You're not actually attaching it to the existing structure that you're building because it's not built yet. But you're able to, because of that, I was able to see if the thing was going to be an issue. You can see where the top of it is going to be. Only 24 logs. That's fine. I should really put the wall up for the uh, side wall, but I really don't want to do that yet. Sun's up there. It's coming down. We're going to be in nighttime again soon. 
This will be fun. I don't even know if I've got enough trees here to do this. Yeah, plenty. I was thinking I should brew a sled, but I'm not going to. So like that fucking trees in my that bush was in my way, I couldn't see. I couldn't see anything to be able to know where I was gonna be having a tree fall in the right direction or anything like that. I'm sure we'll be fine. So we almost need twenty trees almost. 18 trees, but who's counting? I am going to have to have my character sleep a lot. Just to get these trees to regrow back. 10% of the trees you've chopped down will grow back in a sleep. When you sleep, chop down 100 trees, that's 10 trees will grow back. I don't know how many trees I've chopped down here. That's why I haven't slept. I want 10% of them to grow back when they grow back. start work on the staircase uh, yes loving that that's beautiful if I hadn't had that front wall I would have been able to walk out and do it and I think I would have fucked it up because I had that wall and I had to walk around and go out and do it I think that's what made it look good Fuck off, tree. The fact that it just rolls around there is a bit of a pain in the ass. I am going to, when I get down here in a minute and it fully goes night time, I'm going to put the rocks up. Hopefully we can grab all those trees prior, uh, those logs prior to um, the sun going down, then we can focus on the rocks. While the sun's down. It's going to cost us a little bit more because we've still got one more staircase to build. Not essential to the build, but we're going to build it anyway. To the front gate there. I need to be able to make it so that I can just walk straight up and not have to jump. Don't always have enough energy and I can't walk up, I get stuck. Jesus Christ. I fucking hate them. I'm watching a stream at the moment and someone just keeps putting in, like they're a mob, but they just keep putting in the waving hand. It's like, dude, can the person that fucking operates that chat, can you acknowledge that person so then they fucking stop? They've done it one, two, three, four, five, six times in a row. Seven. 
like bugger hell, acknowledge them. Those types of cunts now they're doing a different one. Come on, stop it. <laughs> That's annoying as fuck. You go into a chat. If everything's different, it's fine. But when it's always the same fucking thing, no. Nah. It does my head in. And they keep spamming the same fucking thing over and over and over again. And as a host, I find it annoying too because if it's something different each time, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. No harm, no foul. It's something different each time. That's okay. If it's the same thing over and over again, it's like, why are you doing that? You're only doing this for one reason. So then everybody else's comments disappear and you're the only comments there. And if the person doesn't think that's what they're doing, that is what they're doing. Even if they don't realise it. Like, I'm okay. You can have whatever you want. You want your fucking comment be there? Not a fucking problem. Back in a minute. I am back. What the fuck is that? I tried to wheel my chair forward and all of a sudden it got stopped as if there was something on the floor. Look down. No. You know what, before I do the walls, I'm going to do the rest of the rest of the logs. I want them out of the way. If I had a sled, 
I would just need to fill up the sled five times. They hold 12, five 12s are 60, so. Or 12 fives are 60, whatever. It floats your boat. All these shrubs and that keep growing back. I don't know if that's because Honestly, I thought you had to sleep. That's what all the information says. I could sleep here, but the problem is, if I slept there, it'll actually break the um, little safe house I got there. I don't wish to do that yet. Wow. There is going to be a log just inside, isn't there? We're going to make that just a straight up wall. Then we won't see the log at all. It won't be half in our window. As soon as we get this up and running, we'll give it a test with the um, cannibals and mutants and see how it goes. I'm thinking it'll do all right. That stick disappeared. I didn't even get to grab it. It just despawned. I found a uh, red and black checkered shirt, a flannel shirt. So I've been using that as a um, lumberjack shirt. Why? Why? I'm not going to have you going down that way. Think again, buddy boy. Guy's hungry again. He gets hungry easily. Ah, still picking up aloe vera. Aloe vera, there you go. Hope everyone's doing all right out there today. It is um, Easter Sunday for some people, Easter Monday for others. I don't know what people do on Easter. I don't really celebrate it, but I know other people do and other people are fond of it. In my family growing up, it always had religious <laughs> aspects to it, which I was okay for the chocolate, but didn't give a shit about the rest of the other shit. Come to Papa.
We still got to go get some animal skins yet. Once we put these 54 logs down, we can go off and get some animal skins. The only reason why I want to do this staircase first is because I want to make sure it works. Well, I'm aiming for the staircase first, then the roof. They don't need to match up perfectly, but... Uh -huh, four more there, and then that's the staircase done. See, it's good when the um, it's good when the um, oh, look at that sunrise, cool. When you get an even amount of trees or logs, I should say. And where's the closest trees? Straight up. So we're not even seeing any rabbits running around. The other reason why I want to make sure I get the roof and the staircase done is because I want to save and log out for a second. Forty-eight. Forty-eight logs. That is four crates of twelve. And this should be twelve logs. Three trees should be twelve logs. A minimum. put one here and we'll put the rest on here until we how many more we need oh 10 more so 11 more and we can figure out how many uh whether that worked out nicely or not awesome slowly getting there this is the this is the worst part of the forest and that's the building side of it because this is the part that can take the longest i could have already finished the game if i wanted to with or without the fucking cannibals on or off
Sometimes it doesn't look even. I keep forgetting that most of the stuff that needs these logs at the moment is walls. There's not a lot that's needed for the actual roof and stairs. There's 10 logs for the stairs and one log for the, uh, sorry, one log for the stairs and 10 logs for the roof. And I think we've got everything we need right here. It's going to bring them down a little bit so I can find them easier. The idea is I can see them on the. No, not really. They blend in for me. And I've been chopping too, this, which is, you know, really stopping me from being able to build up any strengths or anything because. Okay, five more there. Actually, it's six more there, but I'm going to put five there and one on one of the other things because then when I come down with two, I can go roof and um, staircase all at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the one for the thing. Yeah, no, that's all of them. The ones that I've got left over will be enough to do the stairs and the roof. And then we're just left with the walls. Uh, four more. Which means I need five total to do the roof and the staircase because that means one. more up here I'll just bring one down put it in the roof and then I'll bring the other two down and do the roof and stairs at the same time Was a big yawn. Okay, so up the wonky stairs onto here. See if I did that the way the other way around and tried to build it after the fact, I would have had it sticking up or way sticking down low. And I would have had to still jump. But now I can just walk up without having to jump. And that's good. 
I don't know if I'll put walls up here yet. I don't know. I might make it just so then I can shoot from here. I don't know. I haven't decided that far ahead. But 35, so what's that? Two, four, six, seven walls to do. Do I have to do them? No, I don't. But I'm gonna. Because I went to the effort of centering this staircase right here in the middle of that door. Uh huh. And I put this one in here. I put a lot of effort to make sure this works. Need a staircase there. I'm not worrying about it right this second because. Uh... Oh, you dick. Why do you do that? Gonna go leg? Yeah, of course you are. Okay, I'll put these four pieces of meat up, while well, that wall's not built yet, because I didn't build it yet. Of course, you just try to push the boat out, you fucking retard. Let's build that energy up. It builds up pretty quick when you're sitting on a chair, normally. G'day, drunk, how you going, mate? And I'm awake. It <laughs> says Reaper. G'day, mate, welcome back. Over the mums for Easter lunch stuff. No worries, mate. Thirty-five logs left. Thirty-five, and then the base is not finished, but for the most part, it is. Now, what I'm going to do, so just quickly. All right, I'll save again. This is it so far. Got some drying racks in here. I've got some more drying racks to put in here and some water containers to put there, but I'm not doing them yet. Just got one on the outside to be able to catch some water. I'll just put them in there to hold all the food. So we've got seven plus seven, 14 pieces of food. This area here will be for my weapons. 
that there would be for the dildo collection, if not the animal heads. I've got a staircase here that goes all the way up onto the roof. Not a roof, it's a second floor, but for now, it's a roof. I will put a um, another floor up here, and I'll make it so then the door's right here, so we can open it. And that will probably look like this. Oh, that's ugly. I mean, it works, but... And then I'll put a proper roof on this. Jeez. Maybe I'll just... Get rid of that. For now. I will just leave it at 35 logs that need to be done. I'm not fucking worrying about that right this second. <coughs> but we have no snacks. We're running low on the old drinker poo. And we need it. It's getting there. It is getting there. See, doing the staircase on the outside going up is a lot easier than trying to cut a hole through the roof and make a staircase that goes through. My character needs to sleep. They have not slept in ages. They need sleep. So the first lot of walls I'm going to do are the interior walls for the food room. That'll be good. That's 15 logs. I think. I don't fucking know anymore. Getting ready for another drawing. Nice looking crib. Yeah, it's getting there. getting there I wasn't too sure if I had enough of them or not
keep saying to yourself, just a little bit further and I'll have a break. Just a little bit further and I'll have a break. Just a little bit further and I'll have a break while you're building. And before you know it, you've just about built everything and you haven't had a break in like two hours. Now, you can't have a break every two hours while you're working, but... Video game, and you should have a break every hour. Ah, that flamey looking devil type demon thing. I don't know what you've named it. To me, it looks like a demon devil. That was what I was getting from it. And I was thinking, like, oh, looking at it, and I was thinking, wow, that'd be really cool if it had, like, like it looks like a silhouette because it's only just outlined at the moment and if the background was like earth in space with the galaxies and that behind it and you had an angel and a demon outlined and inside the demon you've seen heaven and inside the, the angel you've seen hell the ultimate yin yang you know for every, wherever there's good, there's evil. Wherever there's evil, there's good. In between that is just us on Earth floating in space. But that's the thing, that's the beauty about art, isn't it? Art speaks to people in different ways. You don't, not everybody gets the same message from a, the same art piece. We could all look at the same art piece. We could all look at a Picasso and go, wow, that's really profound. And then some of us might go, this prick needs to fucking learn how to where a nose goes. Who puts a nose there? What kind of idiot puts a nose there? Yeah, yeah. It, it really does. It is subjective to, I guess that phrase, art is in, uh, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, really means something because it, it truly is. What you find as, what you find as beautiful artwork Someone might disagree. Interpretations of art, you know. Me, I always draw, my, my style of drawing is very heavily cartoony. Very cartoony. to save here. Um, you sent me a you sent me a few, so I'm just depending on which other one you're referring to. All right, I'm gonna log out here for a second. I'm not finishing my stream, just so everybody knows. I'm not finishing. I'm just logging out so I can have a drink and have a smoke. I think they're all okay. The one that's got the Har the Harley Davidson one, I could take a leave. I don't. I see Harley Davidson and I was just like, meh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but all day long, I've been listening to someone rev their fucking Harley up the whole fucking day long. So I'm over Harley Davidson's. So, you know, that's not your fault. <laughs> that's that prick up the road. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, I don't want to fucking hear that all day. Before you do something for Australia, allow me to put together a couple of pictures to inspire you, to give you some inspiration. So then you're not just doing the typical koala, kangaroo, you know, type thing. I'll give you some I'll give you some images 
that might inspire you. They might not. You might end up going, nah, don't need them. Come up with my own design. But let me let me give you a few images first. Because if someone said to me, "Hey, draw 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 a picture that represents," uh, um, draw a picture that represents America. Um, it might be fat people, cheeseburgers, and guns. But I know that's not all America is about. It's more than that. That was a that was a thing, you know. I would never do that because I know that's a stereotypes, you know. I'd never do that, but you know what I mean, you know. Sometimes it's like if I, I might give you something that you might go, oh, actually, I might be able to work that in, or you might go, nah, move that, don't need that. So I'm just grabbing a couple of images now. Um,
Oh, this coffee is so good. So good. All right, I've got a couple of images to send you now, Reaper. Um, let me just send these to you. Okay, so the first is a wattle. It's a, a wattle. A wattle tree so you got the tree as a whole and then I gave you what it looks like close up that's the that's a traditional plant we give people that we give visitors when they come when they come to Australia we give them that um, here is the Aboriginal flag the colors of the ab Aboriginal flag here's a, a some Aboriginal artwork Here's a Stuart pea, which is a type of desert flower, and just uh, a couple of the animals that are here, kangaroo, you know, wombat, and a kookaburra. So any of those types of things, those colours, if you look at the Aboriginal artwork, you'll see their style of art is a uh, solid background, and everything is done in dots. Normally they'd chew the end of a, chew the end of a stick to make it into a brush, and use it for dots or they'll put the paints in their mouth or the the pigments in their mouth and spit it but there's those all those bright colors and and stuff like that but yeah man Anything incorporating that sort of thing. Those red flowers that have the black thing in the middle, they only grow about a foot. They only grow about 30 centimetres. The flower itself wouldn't be any bigger than your hand. They look huge, but that's because there's a, a, a close-up of them. All right, let's go back in. Oh, that coffee was good. I've been waiting for that coffee for a while now. <laughs> oh, mate, take your time. That, um, the Aboriginal artwork I sent, the, that's telling a story. I can't, I can't tell you what that story is. Not for any other reasons other than I don't know the language of the painting. The only reason why I can't tell you the story is because I'm not familiar with all the different languages of the painting. Each painting is actually an interpretation of the language. It tells a story. So I wouldn't be able to tell you what that story is, but um, I'm thinking that it's the constellation of the Southern Cross. I'd have to get someone, I'd have to get one of the elders to have a look at it, tell me. And for those that aren't aware, the Southern Cross is the the set of stars, the uh, five stars that, that are in a cross shape that you might see on the um, Australian flag. 
the Aboriginal flag, the, the red represents the ground, the um, yellow represents the sun, and the black represents the desert sky at night. We're very, in Australia, we're very proud of our Southern Cross. We love our Southern Cross. If we don't, a lot of people will have an Australian flag tattooed upon them, on themselves, in some form. Most people just have the Southern Cross because we don't, we don't care about the, the red and white stripes that you see in the top right, uh, top left hand corner of our flag, that's the Union Jack. That represents our connection to Britain and to the Commonwealth. But most of us in Australia don't don't really give two shits about that bit. That's more important for people from London and Britain than it is to us. To us, we, we, we lean more to focus on the Aboriginal flag and the Southern Cross because they are things we can see in Australia. We can look up at night and find the Southern Cross. And the Southern Cross is beautiful because it always points due south. If you can see the Southern Cross at night time, you can never get lost in Australia. As long as you know how to follow it, you'll never get lost. It's our cosmic compass, if you will. Kind of like Polaris is, the North Star for people in the, the Northern Hemisphere. In the Southern Hemisphere, you'll see the Southern Cross. Um, so we have it on ours. Uh, New Zealand has a version of the Southern Cross on their flag. Brazil has a Southern Cross on their flag. That's how versatile it is. There you go, flat earthers. Hey, go have a look in Brazil. You don't believe that Australia exists and think that we, you know, we can't see the, you can't see the uh, Southern Cross because you're in America. Yeah, that's because you're in America. That's a Northern Hemisphere. Go, go, go to the Southern Hemisphere to Brazil. You'll see the Southern Cross. Whenever I think of Australia, that's what I think of. The first thought that comes to mind when I think of Australia is um, all of that. The other thing is a place called Uluru. Don't bother trying to pronounce it. <laughs> um, but the English term for it is Ayers Rock with a Y. Um, it's the biggest rock in the world. It's considered a um, sacred site. You're not allowed to climb on it. Some people talk about how they got to climb on it before they got told they're not allowed to climb on it. And technically, they shouldn't have been fucking climbing on it in the first place. But, you know, tourism allowed them to do that. But the um, indigenous people there did not, the indigenous landowners did not like white man or any person climbing on it because it's a sacred rock. It's not. And even to geologists, it's considered sacred because it's the largest rock known to man. That, that's only a little tip of it sticking out of, the, out of the ground. It goes down deeper. And that's pretty much what our sky looks like when the sun sets as well. It's got that nice pinkly, pinky purple hue to it. Ayers Rock is one of those places that you go to it 
and you think to yourself, oh, I'm just going to see a big rock. Yeah, a big rock that if you dropped it in the middle of Manhattan, you'd say bye-bye Manhattan. It would cover. <laughs> <coughs> no stretch of the imagination. It is huge. So bye bye to Central Park. That'd be gone. Manhattan Island would be covered by it. But hardly anyone lives out there because that's a desert, you see. And only the only the strong <laughs> only the tough that can tough it out live out in the desert. I don't live out in the desert, not because I can't tough it out, but just because I don't live out in the desert. But hopefully, if anything, the shapes, colours, and some of the items in those pictures can give you some inspiration. You don't have to draw the exact things you're seeing in those, but like I said, the shapes, the colours... That's the uh, inspiration there. Okay, so there's 20 logs needed there, 15 logs needed here. All right, we'll do the 15 first. Probably have another pig come and attack us soon. There'll be another one out here somewhere. So I think in, you know, giving your heritage, you'd, you'd, you'd appreciate the, uh, the big rock and appreciate the, the Aboriginal art. Get these logs done, and then we'll get the walls done, the rest of the rock wall done. And once that's done, we can do a test. <coughs> really, I should go out and hunt. all these little trees came back up again because I saved and logged out. Moon's high above. Everybody talks about Australia. When they talk about Australia, they always talk about us having beautiful beaches and all that sort of stuff. And we do. Don't get me wrong. We do have beautiful beaches. Um, awesome beaches. Some of the clearest beaches in the world. So I've been told. I haven't looked at all the beaches. We've got so many different beaches here. You could visit one every single day and it would take you so many, like take you several years to visit every single one. Which I don't believe that. 
because I don't believe it would actually take that long to drive around the coast of Australia all the way around it. We're not that big. But I think that, I think that was implying that you're spending a day at the beach, like you go to each beach on a different day. I, I, personally, I don't know when one beach ends and another one begins. This is all beach to me. Where are those fucking logs go? Over here. See, there's the entrance there to the final cave. And that's the final cave for the boss. And you can go there anytime you want. And you can get through the door. You just need to get the key card. And the key card's only just over there where the um, shipping container's where we drove past. Drove past? Steered the boat past. We'll have all this growing back up in no time. Oh yeah, it's about to go daytime any minute. was one time I slept and I wanted the trees to grow and they did but you couldn't chop them down and I went to sleep and I woke back up and I was able to chop them down and I was like yay but they weren't falling and I was like boo so I logged out logged back in started chopping the trees down they started falling and I was getting logs and I was back to yay
Y is rolling this way. If you have to roll some way, roll that way. Oi, dickhead, what are you doing? Alright, so that's the food room done. Just need to put a couple of water containers in there. We'll worry about that later. I'm actually surviving pretty good considering the um, health situation and the mechanics for it. But I'm also not dealing with cannibals. So I can't say that I'm doing really, really good because of, you know, I'm good or anything like that. I can't say that because I'm, I'm not. I'm it's the settings of the game that I've got at the moment. They're really doing a lot of the work. Okay, underneath the staircase first. Come to Papa. Ha ha, come to Butthead. We'll need 12 free log, uh, free trees after these ones have been put in. Does not take much to wear out all your energy. Energy is the blue line going down the. Um, or your stamina, but your energy is the thick blue line. That's right, on the outside, bottom right-hand corner. Stamina is the light blue that you see decreasing very quickly when I run or sprint. Let it build up a bit more. If you jump and get the jump just right, you can actually make it to where you don't use any stamina. But I haven't figured out the, how to get the jump just right yet. So Now, what does it look like on the inside? That looks all right. That stick is not too far. See, normally when I try to do it and I put a hole in the roof and I try to make the staircase inside to make it easier. Oh, you don't want to get outside and go upstairs. You want to do it by inside safe. I'll end up with a goddamn stick or a pole going down like that. But in the middle of somewhere, I don't want it. That worked out perfect. Um, I miscounted, okay.
I hope two of these give me five. They're not. It's because I want it. I see anything moving around out there. Damn, that's, I depopulated this forest. <laughs> this part is, there was heaps of trees. Look at all the stumps. Man, there's a lot of stumps. And a couple of those got wasted because when I changed that fence over, it fucked it all up. Oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? I'll probably find out I didn't miscount that I've got the other logs over there somewhere that just rolled and went somewhere where I can't see them. No, I must have picked them up. Now, 100%, you do not need to build a base like this or any type of base at all to beat this game i'm only doing it because i wanted to it's not necessity you seem to be rolling okay fair enough at first it didn't look like they were rolling in the appropriate direction that would make sense Okay, just need eight more. Do we have eight? I don't think so. Might have six. Oh, there's eight. We don't have to cut down another tree. Perfect amount. There's another six rolling down, plus I got two on me, that's eight. Get these logs on, then we can go hunt. Hunting with a flintlock. Two, four, plus the one, two on my shoulder, six. How many we need? Six.
I walk over them in the direction I want them to roll. They don't always roll that way, but sometimes they do. I still need to put like a little lippy thing there. go right I don't know why that's slightly damaged but it is I don't know why these walls are all wonky and I don't know why that staircase was all wonky either but it's all fixed up now I don't know how that managed to get damaged is the thingy turned on no it's off that makes no sense I don't know, it makes no sense why I was just wobbling there too. Ten rocks. Free ball. What do I need? Two, four, I need six. finished looks fucking wonky but okay Now we need to go hunting. I'll take some rabbits. A lot of tents around here and you can save it nearly all of them i think you can save it all of them mm. 
No, that's poisonous. We're about to go night time again. I only just got daytime. First rabbit. Okay, let's eat that. Sit down for a second, let that build up. I have to build a fireplace inside my home. So this is on hard survival. This isn't easy. So finding food, finding animals is a lot harder. Even though I've got the cannibals turned off, and it's not making it any easier. It just made it so I'm not getting attacked by them. See, I can lock that and stop them getting in. And I can see out here to be able to shoot, stab, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to be able to see out of that room. That's a food room. And that's done like that on its own blah 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 okay we'll need we will need to put some lights in here so we can see is there anything that needs to be does that need to be you know damaging the walls a little bit and then fixing them back up can sometimes be a good thing I mean, they're not even. They are not even. Not by a long shot. be back. I'm just going to do something quickly.
Okay, I am back. So we didn't get too far into the night, I see, and oh, that's good. I'll uh, reload it up in a second. What I need is I need the ability to be able to fast travel. Wouldn't that be nice? Just fast travel straight from here to the to the spot we need to go. That'd be good. Could we fast travel? Well, closest we could get to to fast traveling would have to be zip lines or a bridge. It'll allow you to get over the obstacles of the ground and the terrain if you could just go straight. There are a couple of caves around that'll give me some food and drinks. Uh, flares too, I think. As for food, we got plenty downstairs. Gonna work on the fireplace, the fire, and the walls. Not tomorrow night, as in tomorrow night for me, real life. I don't know why it was. I let me pick up. Um, wouldn't let me pick up sticks beforehand. It was saying I was full. I can carry ten. I just put eight down, and I couldn't put any down on that thing because I said I didn't have any. And it's like, well, I should have had at least two. But no. Game will sometimes do that to you. Just leave you in a lurch. Still able to collect aloe vera, all right. I think there was 10 I could hold and I was down 10. All right, well that's 10 sticks.
And the reason why I'm going to do one of these inside is because I just want a place to be able to save. I want to be saving inside the place now. And because these are only temporary, they are going to go. A leaf collected. I think just two rabbits and a couple of um, stick, a uh, couple of thought I heard a ball. A couple of rabbit skins and a um, a few ropes it should be enough to make a stick bag and then I can carry 20 sticks and then I wouldn't have to worry about going back and forth for one of those shitty ass little never mind Alright, as soon as that moon starts to come up, it's going down at the moment. Shouldn't be able to see it through the cloud like that. As soon as the moon starts coming up from that direction next time, we're going to sleep over there, eat, and then we shall be good. Okay. Let's get our fireplace sorted out. Um, fireplace can go in the middle there. There it is. Now, I've got the fireplace sorted, but I need to put a fire in it. I'm going to do it with that. All right, that's good. Because that means I can light it up. And I now I've got fire inside, and I ain't going to accidentally get burnt when that's full, because that'll be full. I won't be able to walk into it. to bed this time talk to you later good night no worries reaper take it easy man
All right, now I need 50 rocks. That's five trips. So let's do that quickly. Oh, come on. I hate when you see the X and you touch it and it's like, nah, you didn't look at it long enough. That's what it is. It's going, no, you didn't look at it long enough. Also need to get a turtle shell. I might be able to find one of them up here. Depending on how far I look. Should be hunting, getting skins. But the rocks are so plentiful, so we'll just get them. So they have spiders walk out from underneath these rocks, but the problem, well, not really a problem, but the thing is about them is they don't do anything. All right, here comes the last 10 rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, everybody. I can count. Just need the two logs now. Enough room there for four more pieces of raw meat. Can carry free fish, free lizard, free uh, rabbit. Okay. They should have gave us three types of doors. One of the locks on the inside, one of the locks on the outside. And then one that just doesn't need a lock. At all. Oh yeah, Andy.
This is a place that goes down and gets you to somewhere too. Oh, there's a sinkhole. It's called a sinkhole. I don't know if it is a sinkhole. I don't think it is. It's called a sinkhole. Even in the game, it's called a sinkhole. But the thing is, is like, where did it all go? I understand how we get sinkholes and I was wondering how they used all the water up. Or if sinkholes naturally occur one way or the other. I suppose they probably do naturally occur. What do I know? I'm sitting here playing a video game early in the morning. What do I know? If I had half a brain, I wouldn't be sitting here awake right now. I'd be snoring my head off. I don't know if I got that. I don't think I did. Couldn't move then. Stuck. Normally there'd be rabbits and lizard running all over this spot. And while they are here, they're just not as many as it could be. Well, let's start going back. You hear the sounds of rabbits running, but you won't necessarily see them.
imagine if I had to live off just the sticks I could find. Man, that'd be hard. That's a challenge I don't want. Trying to stay up high, see if I get them down by the water. They can't run very far then. There we go. No, no. Um. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Is it good? Bad? Oh, it's both. I've got my stick bag and my rock bag. Mm. Just means I can carry 20 sticks and 25 rocks or whatever now. To make the bed I want to make, the save thingy I want to make, I need to have way more rabbit skins. I need four. Going back to the base now. Can't carry any more of them. I'm going to get in here quickly and I'm going to put this piece of rabbit up so it doesn't go off. There we go. Custom stairs. What do you want? 10, 12 total. Okay, we can do that. We could, but we're going to do it better. Plus that too. That's eight. That's that's two trees. Two trees, and we're done. We can we can let that. Ah, yes. Oh, 
so close. There we go. 20. We have 20 sticks. We need eight. We got oh, nine. God damn it. I want to make sure I try and get this done before. prior to the sun going down. I don't even know if the stairs gonna work. We'll find out. And I think I might let that one log, instead of using it or trying to use it, I think I might just let it go. up and down perfect <coughs> I was going to sleep I'll wake up early morning uh, sun's up there fuck it All right, big shout out to everyone that came in. I'm going to jump off now. I'm going to get some real life sleep myself. Um, I'll have to come back and do a test later on. I can't be, I can't be asked right now to do it. I'm just knackered. 
you know, the almost four hours on now and the almost uh, the four and a bit hours before and the time I've done now, it's almost eight hours worth of streaming. I've got to jump off and get some rest. Big shout out to everyone that came through. Reaper, Drunk, Twist, Dr. Subtone, Criminal, Seven, Ears, uh, Topeka, Shiny, Twisted, anybody else that I've forgotten. I can't see the original stream. Big shout out to you all. And I'll catch you all later on. I'm out in the dust. See ya.